Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3 d and today we're going to be talking about Simple Cloth, which is pretty much a brand new add-on that probably only came out about two weeks ago. And what this add-on does is it just kind of helps you out with cloth. Very simple, very basic. Let's delete that default cube. Shift A, let's throw in a cube. And we'll use this as our reference. I'm going to do Shift A and add in a plane. And this is going to be kind of like our floor plane. And Shift A, let's just add in another plane. GZ, scale it up a bit. I'm going to select our plane into edit mode and let's just subdivide. So W is subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. And one more for good luck. Once we've installed it, the good old fashioned way where you go edit, preferences, install, find the zip file and install add-on and put a tick box next to that simple cloth. I can press N to bring up the side panel, simple cloth. Here we go. So let's start off first by selecting our floor and we're going to activate a collision, our cube activate a collision and now our cloth and let's create a cloth now the really cool stuff is is it just makes the workflow really fast i mean we can have standard i'm just going to press play and this is what we've got cool bananas i'm going to press space for search or f3 and shade smooth just so it's nice and smooth now let's start playing with some of the settings um, under the presets here, we've got a whole list of different types of material and we'll get to these ones in a sec, but for instance, let's just do leather. So leather is going to be really thick, but obviously if I just press play, oh, actually that's not too bad. You can see that it, it looks leather. It feels thick. And if we come down into the, let's just go cotton, come back boop, and you can really see the difference that it's a lot more floppier. Obviously the edges aren't the best at the moment. However, if I come down into the bottom and subdivision modifier, let's just bump that up and press play again. Obviously it's going to be a little bit slower, but we can see that the quality is a lot better. However, it's a little bit weird. That's because we haven't turned on self collision. So now we've got our self collision up and we can increase kind of like the quality of steps, the collision quality. We actually might bump that up a little bit and let's just do that again. And let's just pause that. That looks quite nice there. Now, this is a really cool feature. We can click on check face orientation. And we can see that everything is red. Um, this is because the normal on this plane is facing the wrong way. So if I were to select this bottom plane and just rotate X 180, we can see that it's all blue. And we can see that the blue here is kind of where the normal's pointing and the red is the back face. So we can actually see that it's coming through. That's probably because our quality is maybe a little bit low. I might just drop down that subdivision surface modifier and what I might do is just make it so it's not so boring. Check face orientation. I'm just gonna move it to the side and let's just rotate it like that. And now let's press play. And if we come in, we can still see there's a little bit but that's looking so much better. So we can see that this is the back area of our cloth. Some other cool things that it does is I can go into edit mode. I can select, say this line here. Let's go create new pins. And so now if I go back into object mode and press play, you can see that we've got kind of like a curtain. Hmm, spicy. So that's pretty cool like that. That's, you know, it's saving a lot of time and effort to quickly create some wonderful cloth. Uh, but if we come back to the start here, I mean, we can even, you know, delete, for instance, these here and select this section here and we can go create sewing. Boop. And now what should happen is as soon as I start the animation, these sections here will join, but this one won't because these two are pinned. So they're not gonna move. So if I press object mode and press play, bam. And so that's, pretty rad right there. Oh, and I didn't see this option before, but we can actually just subdivide the mesh by being plus and minus up here. That's pretty cool as well. So now what about this stuff down here? Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to delete that shift a let's add in a cube. G Z, we will move it up and I'm just going to rotate that a little bit funkier. This will create a cloth. Um, let's go tab into edit mode and let's go subdivide, 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 subdivide. One more. Let's go self collision, turn that on. Subsurface up by one. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. That's fine. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna come in, oops, tab to go into edit mode, 
and I'm going to select these edges in here and all the outside edges like so. I'm going to create pins. Okay. Let's go into object mode, turn off wireframe because I don't want to see all those lovely jubblies. Presets, let's go to pressure. And now if we press play, we get kind of like this expanded bubble. So I'm just going to back to the start and quickly like, oh, that does look pretty sick. So let's go shade smooth. And there we go. We've created this wonderful little piece. I'm going to actually go to tab into edit mode, control numpad plus just to expand the selection a little bit more. And let's go create new pins tab. And I'm going to do this again. Oh man, and that looks amazing. Let's just go to start and oh, how it inflates. Pressure, let's go into sh uh, shrink pressure. Now the way this works, let's just go back to the start and while it's processing, is it goes off the normal. So shrinking obviously goes invert. So it doesn't go with the normal, it goes in the opposite direction where the other pressure, of which I've forgotten what it's already called, goes with the normal. So that is pretty suave. Oh my goodness. Um, and we can demonstrate that quite simply. If I just go add a new mesh, a plane, G, Z, tab into edit mode, create cloth, blah, 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 blah. I want to, let's select all, scale that up. I'm going to select the edges. And then let's select the middle bit and that bit. Control, numpad plus to expand our selection. Let's go create new pin and we will come into uh, pressure again. And because the normal is facing this way, we're expecting everything to blow out. Um, let's just go one subdivision surface layer, turn off wireframe mode, self collision. Let's press play. Smooth. And there we go. And so obviously we've got other presets here. That doesn't really work, does it? Because <laughs> we got those pins. So let's just clear that. Remove selected. Um, object mode. I'm going to rotate. And then I'm just going to press play. And it should look like a piece of paper. Or fly off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just delete that. Come back in. Let's create a new plane. Um, I think it's because it doesn't clear everything that we just had. So that must mean what we could do is kind of select silk. And then come in and select the different types of pressure, but we'll keep the stiff paper. Come in here, subdivide, 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 subdivide. Let's give it a subdivision self collision, bump this up, uh, rotate like so, wireframe, and then we'll press play and it should drop and pretty much be like a crumpled piece of paper. Uh, shade smooth. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh wait, that's a stiff piece of paper. So there we have it. This is a very brief overview over the simple cloth. If you want to download it, the link is in the description. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If there's any other add-on you want me to review, please let me know in the comments below as well. Thank you very much.